This is the Times Television Network, and you're watching ET Now. It's a mega merger in the investment banking space. Uh, Inam Securities will merge with Axis Bank in an all stock deal, a deal that's just under 2100 crore rupees. Inam's investors also get shares of Axis Bank. Inam will hold 3.3% in the enlarged equity of Axis Bank post-merger and Axis will retain Inam Securities as a fully owned subsidiary. Valam Bansali is likely to get a seat on the board of Axis Bank and Manish Chukani will be the CEO of the newly formed subsidiary between Axis and Inam. Hello and welcome, you're watching this special show, The Mega Merger in the banking space. That's right, it's a deal that's in a sense taken everybody by surprise. Uh, a huge merger in the investment banking space and a surprise move. Uh, Enam Securities said it will merge with Axis Bank in an all-stock deal. Enam shareholders will get 5.7 shares of Axis Bank for every one share they hold in Enam Securities. Enam, of course, uh, will hold 3.3% in the enlarged equity of Axis Bank post the merger. E.T. now broke the story earlier today and our correspondents who are on the ball on this story are joining us right away. Nisha Podar, Ritu Jindal with us. Nisha, first you, take us through the breakdown on the details of the deal. That's right. It's uh, a total deal size is about 2,067 crore rupees. And uh, the swap ratio is 5.7 is to 1, which means that for every share of Enam, uh, what will be co coming in exchange is 5.7 shares of Axis Bank. And uh, in this particular deal, Axis Bank is going to get uh, full control over Enam Securities through its 100% health subsidiary. Now, how does Enam and uh, Axis Bank gain from this particular deal? Now, Enam Securities uh, is a big player, has been a strong player as far as the brokerage and the investment banking space is concerned and that's exactly the area that Axis Bank had been eyeing for a long time. In fact, so much so that it missed out on uh, the whole opportunity of uh, getting the entire IPO disinvestment and the big IPO deals. So this is the area that uh, Axis Bank is looking at and Enam is getting a big strategic partner. Nisha Puddha, they're the one who broke the story at 12.30 this afternoon. Let's turn to Ritu Jindal as well. Uh, Ritu, in terms of valuations, how good a deal is this uh, for Axis Bank? Also, Vallabh and Manish uh, will get a decent chunk of Axis Bank against their shareholding uh, in Enam Securities. So what's the worth of their stake in Axis Bank post the merger? That's correct. And, uh, uh, Sandeep, to answer your first question, the deal definitely uh, puts Axis Bank at a better stead, of course, uh, despite uh, a stock payout of uh, 2,067 crores because they they probably, a 3.3% stake that they are giving into the Inam uh, uh, shareholders, they are actually getting, getting back the same in terms of the profit, net profits, because the FY10 uh, uh, net profits by the management state was 92 crores. The FY11 uh, YTD PBT uh, is uh, around 77 crores. So, uh, you know, on a projected FY11 uh, profits of about 120, 130 crores, the deal works out to a P valuation of 20 to 21 times FY11 uh, compared to other peers, which is Eagle Wise, India, Infodine. Most of these players trade at around 15 to 16 times. A little bit of a premium, but well deserved premium there, of course, uh, uh, because the ROEs or the return on equity for Enam is much superior. Enam has a market share, we understand, of about 4.8 to 5 percent in the broking space. Uh, of course, uh, right. Mr. Bansali, uh, Jagdish uh, Master, and Manish Chakani do stand to gain uh, in respect to their 8 percent, 15 percent uh, approximate shareholding. Okay, thanks guys that's the big story and therefore the big people who matter on this deal We've got two special guests Shikha Sharma of Axis Bank Vala Bansali joining us from Enam Mr. Bansali let me come to you why did you choose well Axis Bank for one and why this time why now for a period of not more than two to three years and if, if we look at those two criteria I think this deal gets a tick on all, all counts but Mr. Vanchali, you know, you have the option of, uh, you know, doing this as a part cash, part stock deal. 2100 crores roughly is what uh, uh, your, your broking and investment bank has been, uh, has been valued at. Uh, did you at no stage consider that as an option? You instead uh, chose to settle for 3.3% stake in Axis. Is that a reflection of the fact that you believe in the growth potential of Axis Bank as well? Absolutely. And I think when you do a clean deal, it works better. Therefore, we did a clean deal. And I think Axis Bank uh, looks a very, very good investment to us over the long term. Well, take us through the way you financially structured it. I know uh, during the conference you have sort of shared some of the numbers from uh, Inam's side. What kind of exchange of assets has happened and uh, the way the deal has been valued? Net-net, uh, what would you say to both Inam and Axis Bank shareholders? 
What you would say is that you know we have combined capabilities and we have combined franchises. Uh, we have uh, created a platform in which uh, we both are uh, quite confident that our people and business will migrate uh, seamlessly. Uh, in terms of how we valued the deal was, uh, I think uh, you know it's it's a franchise transaction. NM is a very unique company, not only unique company in the investment banking world, but I think even in the country for the low-profile manner in which it built itself. It never advertised, it eschewed several businesses, its people have been extremely steady. Last year we were involved in 50% of the transactions. We have held dominant market share in distribution of IPOs for many, many years. And we have held our corporate relationship. So I think there's several of these factors that are very valuable for you know, building a combination, building a powerful platform were considered. And uh, therefore we valued our play, you know, franchise hugely. And if at all, I think if I had considered, which I did not, had I considered uh, other alternatives, you know, which always uh, come and meet us, but we never take uh, anything forward, we would have got much higher value, I have no doubt about. A deal at a fair value. He actually said that if he had done this deal with a foreign uh, company, he would have probably got a, even a, a 